Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? June? And Santa! And Lotus, too! Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. Uh, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here, the Earth key. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah, on it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. And then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, 
on it. Great! Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So the two keys that Jumpy has? should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for 10 minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. It. it opened! Look, Jumpy! Oh, sweet! It opened! Let's get going! W wait What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor. D-deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. It's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I think I can hear it opening on E-Deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E-Deck be safe if the D-Deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E-deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Ah, oh, crap. It closed! I can't just let you go alone, you know? Ah, jeez. It looks normal. 
I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die. Oh, no. Don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well... It looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I knew it. Ja, und diesmal ist es Raum 6, durch den wir gehen müssen, okay? Interessant. Das heißt, wenn man durch Raum 8 geht, kommt man aus dem anderen, kommt man zu einem anderen Raum oder wie? This is a numbered door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for Edek? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that Edek wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of Edek is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. He said the six door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um... Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. <gasps> oh my god. That's not true, is it? Uh... We should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait. Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh, where is he? The shower room, on the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, ooh. oh. Mm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? I'm going in. <sighs> uh... Just like Ace said. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are. No mistake about it. It's Snake.
<laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door, and then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us. We were all off. Yeah, that means any... Well, wait a minute, how can you... You're a... Well, not just... Why don't you... What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? What? Exactly. Any gain. Whoever makes it zero is trying... Then you're saying that zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes, that is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He mastermind... Doesn't it seem reasonable that... Hmm, if Zero killed Snake... But I... Where could Zero be? I think... I think one of... Hmm. Huh? I clo... Didn't you... Exact... No reason. Then what's the bracelets? Why are the... You're all thinking... If he's do... It would be a lot... If that's the case... Huh. I'm not done. All of the puzzle. In other words, zero doesn't. Why is that? So let's say if that's the case, that's why. That's what you're getting. Yeah. Seven. You said. Yeah. All right then. You said. Yes. So what do they fit together? Whoever. Killed seven and eight. At least they do. What were his? His motives. Yes. Why would? Zero oh. Well, I. Well, so much. In other words, I don't really. Ah. Yeah, sorry. I must this natürlich die ganze Zeit durchskippen, weil wir das eben schon hatten. Und ich möchte dich noch mal anhören. That means we Then we need seven. I know how you feel. You're right. We must go. Our next destination. Maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right. Let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card seven gave us, right? Yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Ja, und das führt uns ja jetzt wieder zurück zu Raum 2. Deswegen können wir uns hier nochmal dafür entscheiden. Weil hier hat man nämlich drei Möglichkeiten dann. Raum 6, durch den wir übrigens gehen werden, dann Raum 1 und Raum 2. Aber Raum 2 werden wir natürlich nicht machen, das führt uns nur wieder hier hin. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Oh, 
So this is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room, doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... I want to go through... Door six. That's a problem. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six. But our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? <sighs> uh. What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. This is E-Deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. There it is. You guys ready? Yeah. 
Then let's get to it. Hey! I found it! It's right there! Uh... <sighs> oh, it stopped. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. This door looks heavy. Okay, good Leute, bevor wir mit Raum 6 weitermachen, würde ich sagen, sehen wir uns hier beim nächsten Mal bei Zero Escape 999. Bis dann, ciao.